I'm walking with the word in Kathmandu, Nepal, and I've been thinking about John chapter 5. Jesus is addressing Jewish religious leaders who refuse to believe in him. And in John chapter 5, verses 39 and 40, Jesus says to them, You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. And it is these that bear witness of me, yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. What Jesus is saying to them is he's saying, you're treating your scriptures as if they're going to give you eternal life, but it's your very scriptures, your Bible, that points to me. And at the same time, you refuse to come to me to receive that life that you're searching for. It's interesting that Jesus talks to the Jews in this way. He, he talks to them saying that your scriptures prophesy of me, they point to me, so you've got to come to me, that's where the life is to be found. But is there any application for Christians today? Is there any application for Christians in the modern world? Well, I think there is. I think we can do exactly the same thing that the Jews were doing. I think that we can spend so much time focusing on the Bible and on the scriptures that we miss the point. The Bible isn't meant to be an end of itself. It's not the place that we find eternal life. The Bible is something that points to a right relationship with God. It's a thing that points to a right understanding of who God is and what God's plans are for us. That's the whole purpose of the Bible. And if you spend time focusing on the Bible and learning it and understanding the scriptures more deeply, it's a good thing because it's pointing us in the right direction. But it's just a signpost. It would be a bit like standing and staring at a signpost and not going to where it's pointing you if you only stopped at the Bible. It points us to a place of right relationship with Jesus. Jesus says you refuse to come to me. Jesus is calling us to draw near, to get close, to get intimate with him. That's the whole point of the Bible. And it's so easy when we spend time getting deep into the word to to miss this and actually not to not to follow it through and draw near to him and in fact this is something which i struggle with i love the bible i love reading and learning about god and i can sometimes neglect that personal loving relationship with jesus that he's calling us to and if you're like me and you make that mistake easily then i've got a few things that might help you Firstly, stick on some worship music. Spend some time drawing near to him. Sing songs of worship in your heart. Go into a quiet room and just close the door and spend time soaking in God's presence and just foster a deeper intimacy with him. It is so lovely when it happens. It's so full of joy and life and that's what it's all about.